people. Things are getting better. How are you going? As you can see, I've even got a haircut. So things are on the up and up. Anyway, this time I'm going to install a winch on the patrol. Something I had wondered about after having one for 20 years on my old patrol and didn't very rarely used it. But I thought I would as a bit of insurance um, because they are much more affordable these days. This one on the table is probably a quarter of the price I paid for my worn winch 20 years ago. So not a big investment to have a bit of insurance. So we'll get into it and open it up and see what it looks like. It's just one I picked out. Okay, let's start. Straps off. instructions bolts cable bracket clevis hook and cable and last but not least the winch which is uh, somewhat heavy Okay, we have a trial fit now. Let's see 
how the fair lead's gonna go on. All the cabling, etc. And now I need to make a bracket for the number plate to fit in like that. So that it'll clear the winch. Next job, fabricate a bracket. Okay, bracket in place. Utilising two existing holes. Now to mount the number plate. Okay, that's what it looks like with the number plate. You can access the winch and you don't have to move the number plate. I have removed the socket for the controller from here to lengthen the cable. Put this box out of sight and then put this socket on the front somewhere, which I have yet to determine. Okay, it's all finished. This is the back view. You can see I've mounted the controller on the back where they provided some holes. Seems like a strange place. Normally, if you put it there, you wouldn't be able to access the remote controller, except by wireless. Anyway, worked out there. I can hide it there. Or I will go around the front. You see, I have moved the controller socket to there. Nice and neat. And then the controller just goes in. I'll show you. We release this. Pull it out. And... a happy moment, I can assure you.